Colton Melha from Matrix Robotics with tips and tricks video number six about bearing plates. Now bearing plates are very important for robot use where axles are spinning very fast or when they have a lot of torque. They reduce wear, vibration, and friction. Very good for a robot. For example, here's a robot that is using bearing plates on the drive wheels. It's got one here and one there. Um, I would say anytime you have drive wheels, you should be using bearing plates. Um, you can see them, they're gold right here, and they're actually heavier than um, the aluminum pieces. You can tell the difference by just holding them and comparing the weight, or if you drop them, one well, of them makes a lot different noise. Now you might be saying, but Colton, I just watched your video on the racer and you didn't have bearing plates on there. I know, I made a mistake. So, hence this video about bearing plates. Realize on the last video I did, I had the racer and took the rubber band and I wound it up and I showed all of you how to wind up your racer and then I let it go and it made this noise. You can hear that like click 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 click. All that sound, vibration, and wear is actually going to make the holes of the uh, aluminum parts uh, get a little bit bigger and it's going to slow down uh, whatever you have. So here is actually um, the same racer and on this one I put bearing plates in as it shows on the instructions on the website and uh, very good to use. So notice the difference here. A lot better. So I'm going to quick show you how to install a bearing plate and then we'll be done so don't blink. Now when you are installing bearing plates it's important that you line them up with the hole uh, very very nicely. Uh, I don't recommend using quick connectors for bearing plates because the bearing plate can still move around on the piece um, slightly. So use screws with nuts with tooth washers. Put in your two screws and then put on the nuts just like finger tight so put them on kind of loose very loose. I didn't even, that's not very tight at all, which is good. Do that on both sides. Take the other one, take the two screws, put that through the holes. And then before you tighten down the screws, Take an axle with nothing on it and put it through the hole where the axle, axle is going to be on the bearing plates. Wiggle it around a little bit and that will actually line up the bearing plate with the piece that you're putting the bearing plate on. And then go ahead and tighten down each of the screws. Wiggle a little bit again, make sure it's spinning freely. And then tighten down the next two screws. Spins very nice. And to show how well this spins, you can actually put a wheel on it and show that it spins. It worked. It worked well. Now, if you put the axle in and it doesn't spin right, just loosen up the screws again, spin the axle, uh, wiggle it around a little bit, and then tighten the screws back up and, until it works. Um, usually, it only takes one or two tries. This time, I got it right away. Uh, bearing plates, very important. They are made from brass, and the holes inside the bearing plates are slightly smaller than the holes in the aluminum channels. Plus, the brass is not going to wear down like the aluminum will, so the holes will stay the right size. Very cool. Bearing plates, use them when you have high speed or high torque axles going through aluminum parts. Do you have questions about bearing plates, or do you have suggestions for future videos? Please send me an email at support at matrixrobotics.com.